I'm excited to see Marco Samuelson. I think he'll be uh, he'll bring some cool stuff uh, down here and we'll see some different things from him. Is he places in Brooklyn, right? Is it? No, it's Red in Harlem. Harlem. Oh, in Harlem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Red Rooster. Yeah. That's really? what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Is it good? You been there? I have not been there. Super cool. Really. Really, like the the restaurant's like this big cultural melting pot, which I think is what makes it so dynamic and great. You know. Sweet. There's fried chicken and greens and stuff like that, and then he's got some kind of more forward-thinking food too. But like, it's, it's just this whole the, the vibe of the restaurant is kind of like nothing that's ever been in Harlem, and it's kind of re reinvigorated the neighborhood. And yeah, it's really cool. He's such a nice guy too. We met him in Aspen when we were there. Yeah, yeah. he may be the best dressed chef on the planet. <laughs> yeah, and the shots are special. He has this like lime green like, sweater on. Yeah, like red shoes. Like I can never pull off a lime shoes. green sweater. <laughs> Uh, Miyamoto is, is a, a nice little addition. I mean, I'm stoked that Miyamoto's coming. You know, he was, he was in a roundabout way, one of the people that got me cooking because I used to watch Iron Chef Japan on VHS tapes. <laughs> and, I, and it was working like in the late, in early 90s. You know, he wore like the silver outfit and all that. Yeah. I was like, that's so, so dope, yeah. you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So full circle. And then I actually went against him on Iron Chef America too, so. It'd be cool. I think Tim did as well, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be cool to have him here in Austin and make tacos against him. Wait till you, wait till you hear him. <laughs> the best part is when you hear him sing. Oh, he sings too? Uh-huh. It's really, uh, you know, you don't know what the hell he's saying, so everybody just thinks it's great. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, he sings it all in Japanese and everybody just starts clapping. Yeah. I'll tell you who else would be fun coming down here is Jonathan Waxman. You guys ever met that guy? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's amazing. He's like the he's like the godfather. You meet anybody that's under the age of forty, or under the age of forty-five for that matter, that works in New York. They all work for him at some point. He's like the Kevin Bacon of the chef world in New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's true. Like, I don't for understand real. it. Oh, you talk to anybody? Six of separation. No, five quite. Years? There's no question that if you work in New York City for more than five years and you're under the age of forty-five, <laughs> you worked for him at one point. Really? <laughs> and, you, and nobody really knew much about him, like Top Chef Masters kind of got him back in the light again, but he's just, he's an amazing cook and really hilarious. And he looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi if you put a hat on him. Yeah. <laughs> he won't take me back when I come around.